Penguin Random House Audio Presents Starcrossed by Minnie Dark Read for you by Melissa George For my favorite Scorpio, P.T. The stars are the apexes of what wonderful triangles. What distance and different beings in the various mansions of the universe are contemplating the same one at the same moment. Henry David Thoreau Astrology is like gravity. You don't have to believe in it for it to be working in your life. Zola's Starmates No passion on earth, neither love nor hate, is equal to the passion to alter someone else's draft. H.G. Wells Aquarius Nicholas Jordan was born, not beneath a starry sky, but in Edinvale Hospital a modest red brick building on the outskirts of a town that had four pubs, no banks, one swimming pool, six service clubs, and bitterly resented water restrictions each summer. The hospital was surrounded by beds of bright pink bougainvillea and rectangles of thirsting lawn, and at the moment of little Nick's birth, the sky above its hot tin roof was a scorching blue of a southern hemisphere noon in February. And yet the stars were there, out beyond the cloudless heat of the troposphere, beyond the stratosphere's blanket of ozone, beyond the mesosphere, the thermosphere, the ionosphere, the exosphere, and the magnetosphere were the stars, millions of them, patterning the blackness and orbiting themselves into the precise configuration that would be forever mapped onto the soul of Nicholas Jordan. Joanna Jordan, Aries, owner-operator of Edinburgh's Upper Cut Hair Salon, the freakishly accurate goal attack for the Envale Stars netball team, and a two-time Miss Eden Valley title holder, did not think of the stars in the hours that followed her son's birth. Blissed out and disheveled in the hospital's sole delivery suite, she only stared into little Nick's face and charted influences of a more terrestrial nature. He's got your nose, she murmured to her husband. And she was quite right. Her baby had a perfect miniature replica of the nose that she knew and loved on the face of Mark Jordan. Taurus, square-shouldered Australian rules defender turned polo shirted financial planner. Lover of baked cheesecake and helpless admirer of long-legged women. But your ears, Mark said, feeling his hand to be suddenly and gigantically out of scale, as he smoothed back a wisp of dark hair that feathered Nick's newborn head. And so, Joanna and Mark looked over their son and traced back to various sources. His cheeks, forehead, fingers and toes. The new parents found an echo of Mark's brother in the wide setting of their baby's eyes, and a hint of Joanna's mother in his full and expressive lips. Nowhere, however, did they find, or even think to look for, the fingerprints of Beta Aquarii, a yellow supergiant burning some 537 light years from Earth or the more diffused touch of the Helix Nebula, or indeed any of the other heavenly bodies that comprise the sprawling constellation of Aquarius, within whose auspices the sun was housed at the time of their baby's birth. An astrologer, looking at the pinpricks of destiny as laid out in little Nick's natal chart, might on the day of his birth have been able to tell you that this child would grow up to be the original, to the point of slightly eccentric, creative and caring, but with a competitive streak so wide that his siblings would prefer eating Brussels sprouts to playing Monopoly with him. He would love costume parties and have a habit of bringing home any starving dog or flea-ridden cat that crossed his path. This same astrologer might have allowed themselves a fond smile as they foretold that Nick, from his mid-teens onwards, would be a true believer when it came to the stars. Nick would like the fact that he was an Aquarius, a sign he would associate with innovative and original thinking, as well as summertime, music festivals, and hot young hippies who smelled of patchouli and sex. On the day of Nick's birth, however, there was no astrologer at hand, and the only person who did make an astrological prediction about baby Nick at that time was Joanna Jordan's friend, Mandy Carmichael.